Or Wednesday? Leftover Wednesday. Leftover Wednesday. Kitchen's <laughs> closed. So Thursday, here will be margaritas. We are going to go in with the diamond prep and diamond mani. First diamond mani. Go up and down those sides, like Ariana Grande says. Clean, clean, clean. Wine Wednesday, she said. That's true. Wine, Wine Wednesday. Wednesday. There you go. Friday can be wings. Fries and fries for Friday. So what, what alcohol starts with an F? I want to say Jägermeister. I know, but I want to say Jägermeister. I heard Jägermeister makes you a mean drunk. Is that true for the girls that drink? Got my stickers today. So excited to use them. Oh my gosh, do you love them? Mojitos. Mojito Friday. Mojito Have you ever had a uh, Jägermeister? Like a Jäger bomb? Mm hmm. Or just a straight up shot of Jäger? What does it taste like? Crap. Really? Is, I'm not a fan. Did it change you? I only did it once. Really? I'm not like a, I'm not like a shot kind of girl. I'm not really like a, I don't like to drink a lot. I like occasionally will like to have my wine. And then if I do drink, I prefer margaritas on the rocks. The salt's all around that rim. And <laughs> what about a Michelada? I don't like Michelada because I don't like beer. Oh. Do they taste like beer? Yes, and then they taste like tomato beer. Ew, like. that doesn't sound very and tasty. If I'm gonna drink beer, it's gonna be the seconds, but then the bottle has to be dressed. <laughs> like like salt on the salt, bottle? Like with like lime salt and like um, a little of lime. Sounds like a like a meal almost. Yes. A high sodium meal. <laughs> Tequila makes a lot of people I know mean are aggressive drunk. Oh well. Much love from Auckland, New Zealand. Hi, shout out to Auckland. Cave Road. Mermaids, Kaluzis, peaches and cream. Can I just say how much I appreciate you for supplying us with the best products available? My clients are loving the new stuff. That's right, Mama. Thank you. Thank you to everybody that works at EnoCouture.com. Because you guys know it takes a village, people. I want to push back that cuticle one more time. Ugh, these ads. These ads. Going through the gigs, they face. Carol doesn't live in Tapo, right? No, she lives in Tapo. Is it far? Uh, maybe like a two-hour drive. It's a beautiful drive, though. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, "Geez, Daryl, it's so pretty." She was like, "You think so?" And I was like, "Yeah, I couldn't stop staring out um, the New Zealand country roads. Very green. So beautiful and rolling hills with sheep. I think the South Island has one." Yeah. Max, hi. Wait, it takes a village. It takes the village people. Oh, well, can't get YMCA out of my head. <laughs> Such a bad joke. Annie Cook says, Bonjour, Max. Can't wait to have the DIY gel in Canada. Bonjour. It takes a village people. Do you like the village people, Sue? Mm. I can just imagine Sue shaking it to YMCA. And Macho Man! I gotta be a Macho Man. So now we're gonna go in with Diamond Prep. We're going to remove the shine off the entire phalange. Sandra says, saludos. Hello, hola, un saludo. Sue says, yes, I do, Max. She was shaking it. She shakes it now to the YMCA. She do. Young Forever man. Forever in her heart. But I heard the YMCA was a place where not, well, I guess for some people are good things. A lot of bow chick bow bow is what that song's about. Mattress Mambo. Mattress Mambo at the YMCA. <laughs> Jeez. Max, how many pieces are beds in a pack of stickers come from? How many what? How many pieces or stickers? I don't know. I think she's asking, the question she's asking is how many stickers come from her pack. So it's one sheet of stickers. And each design is different. Some have more, some have less. On average, I want to say about 50. But some are a little bit less. Because they're bigger. Because they're bigger or they're like effects. So they're a little bit less. Hi from Maryland. Like the hologram ones and all that jazz. I'm a very good friend that lives in Maryland. Really? She's from Baltimore, but I don't know where she's living right now. 
Good morning, Bob. Good morning. There's a flasher who lives next door. There's the bump on his ballroom stool. He wishes me luck on my way to school. I promise, Bob, tomorrow that someday when I take to the floor, the world's gonna wake up and see Baltimore and me. You've never seen that movie, Hairspray, with Zac Efron and John Travolta and Michelle Pfeiffer and Queen Latifah. But I, tried, I don't know the song. I only know that one. <laughs> I honestly. Well, I, I woke up today. I actually don't like that movie. I just like that song. I'm more of a musical kind of Miranda, not Miranda. Amanda Bynes was in it too. Oh yeah, that's, that was one of the last movies that she did. Before right? she went real cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Before she went cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Beautiful. I really like you like it? Feels clean. It just really like makes feel very like. <laughs> and it really does make a huge difference. So now we're gonna do one coat of nail prep because we're gonna overlay her natural nail with press-on gel. Because remember, press-on gel. She's a bottom chick, so she does everything. And pink press-on gel. Whew, what nails, doesn't she do? My nails need a little repair, a little love. A little TLC. So we've got to rebuild them. And she doesn't like them long either, so that's why we didn't apply one, two, three, go nail. Because she just likes them really short, especially with all the stuff she does. Like cardboard boxes and things like that of that nature. So let's give her a few seconds to dry. Just trying to, you know, live the short nail life for a little bit. So the first coat of Press On Gel is very thin. Because the city is so scary now, there's too much violence in there. Really? Wow. Yeah. No, Sue, this is your favorite tomorrow. From the micro alienation of Guam. And do you know Guam doesn't have a uh, Senate representative? Only the House and their votes, they don't vote, they're just there to speak. To give their opinions about things. Really? Yes. But I'm not sure. I don't know if Guam is uh, Republican or Democrat. We should find out. Because it doesn't matter, right? Because they don't get to vote. Well, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> it's run as a kind of like a, like its own independent state. So I like don't know Puerto what. Rico, right? Yes. Yeah. Actually, I don't know what uh, political party uh, Puerto Rico is affiliated with. Over 300 murders in the last year. Oh my goodness. Wow. Ah. The big B is no joke. Let's bake that for 30 seconds, you guys. I wish I could show you guys this cool little nifty tool. My mom's like, it looks like a giant mouse trap too. Oh, when you first show Yes, it. she's like, it looks like a giant mouse trap. Oh my gosh, Jasmine's from Guam. Really? Jasmine Kaplan. Why, hello. Half a day. What time is it in Guam where America starts its day? Really? So now we're going to do another layer of pink press on gel. So Puerto Rico is what? She says, I think the, that same boat's either way in Puerto Rico. Jasmine said half a day. Half a day. Is Guam a Republican or a Democrat? Territory? Uh, yes. Or is it none? Because I'm not sure about how the territories work, Commonwealth. So this layer, she's gonna be a little bit thicker because she's got that body yaddy yaddy to add volume to the nail because we want that nail to have volume. So it's like I'm frosting a cake with press on gel. Where in Guam do you live? Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? <laughs> do you remember that? I still love that game. Really? Did you ever watch the show? Yeah. I would probably be really good at it, huh? Now. Yes. For sure. What would I win? What did they win? Like Walkmans or something like that, right? Because it was like on PBS, so yeah. it wasn't like glamorous prices. No. Do you guys remember that show? Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? 
Oregon Trail. Oregon Trail. I remember like everybody would always get sick playing Oregon Trail. It's like a tiring game. Like you get bored and then like you'll be doing great and then all your people die. Out of like for no reason. I remember the first time when um, seeing snow on Oregon Trail. I was like, oh my god, there's it's snowing. Let's bake that 30 seconds. She's from Santa Rita, but she lives in Maryland. Wow. Wow. Paul actually has an uncle that lives in Maryland. Really? Yeah. Where are the tomorrows not there? Their FBI umbrellas is in Maryland, in Washington, in Georgia, in North Carolina, California, Arizona, Texas, everywhere. Where is there not tomorrows? We're they're everywhere. I've never been to Puerto Rico yet, though. That's somewhere I really want to visit. I want to go too. And the people are so nice, and the food is so delicious. So now we're going to do our final and third layer of press on gel on the phalange. I want to go there, and I want to go to the Dominican Republic. Oh, yeah, my mom really wants to go to the Dominican Republic too. Maybe that's where we can have our Christmas party this year. <laughs> it's really cheap. Especially during COVID, they saw a huge amount of tourism because it was open like fully. Yeah, like super inexpensive. The most expensive part of the Dominican Republic is getting there. But once you're there, like everything is pretty affordable. Unless you want to stay like at like a really expensive resort. I think they were saying it's some kind of hotel where everything was included. Yeah. Like, like the whole, like everything. Like the, food, the Caribbean everything. in general has a lot of like all-inclusive resorts for like honeymooners and things like that. Yeah, we Going to the Dominican Republic. And they dance over there, that merengue. No joke. Ooh, is Lena gonna dance some merengue? Of course What about Paul? He's not a dancer. He can't dance. Tomorrow's can't jump. But if white men can't jump. Now that all my mother in law and all of his cousins can dance, he just doesn't. Let's bake that for one minute and set the dance in the garden minute. One full minute, you guys. Make sure that it is completely, completely baked. Thoroughly. Really? Was he born in a hospital? I think so. Or was he born like in a... No, I think he was born in a hospital. A hut. He was born in a hospital. Or on the beach. Born in Telefofo. I don't know if there's a hospital in Telefofo. It's only eight miles wide, so... Probably a very small hospital. And then they came and they went to California. Oh, really? Wow. They got to see a lot of Merca. He grew up in Oklahoma for a little bit. Oklahoma? Yeah. Really? Yeah, in Oklahoma City. Where the wind comes tumbling. So now that she is fully baked for one minute, we are going to take our hand sanitizer and remove the oxygen inhibition layer. And we're going to shape her up just a little bit. Who? How? Yeah. I don't think so. How do your nails feel now, Ignacio? Super strong, right? Yeah, totally And they have that shape, that volume we want. My friend. Where are you going now, Lena? Mm. <laughs> he's like, mm. he's like, <laughs> he's like your girlfriend that like doesn't like like the boyfriend. He's like, mm. <laughs> I have nothing to say to you, Lena. Good day. <laughs> we'll toodaloo. See you 
We'll look at it tomorrow. Is she coming tomorrow? Oh, Wednesday. that's right. We'll do it Thursday then. But Tony did his already. He finished it, right? I hope so. So now we're going to take the mixer of it. We're going to blend in that cuticle area. Brett says, hey, man. G'day, mate. Brett is so funny. Why? What was funny? What did it say? Oh, I want to laugh. Said okay, they have a popular Democrat party wants, uh, wants to remain as is with home government, and the Progressive Party wants to join with the U.S. government. They also have a sponsor party. A what? They also have a sponsor party. So there's no GOP in, in Puerto Rico. Popular Democratic Party wants to remain as is with their own government, and the Progressive Party wants to join the U.S. government. But they then they would have to pay federal income tax, which they don't. Or state income tax. See ya. Beautiful. Oh, when you guys are giving Lena a hard time. <laughs> mm. You should have seen Max's face though. He's like, hmm. I very much disapprove. <laughs> he did the face. So now I'm going to take my smoothie buffer, remove the shine very quickly, and smooth out the phalange. Make sure she is nice and. Has that smooth body yaddy yaddy. She said no, they have no tax. No state tax, but I think they do pay federal tax. Is it the Yeah, because their currency is the US dollar. So if we go to the Dominican Republic, we'd have to exchange our currency? Yes, Dominican Republic has their own money. But if we went to Puerto Rico, we wouldn't have to. Nope. Right, you that mm-hmm. But Puerto Rico is expensive from what I heard. Yeah, because Puerto Rico, we have the same uh, post office, too. When we shift stuff to Puerto Rico, we use the USPS. What about that? So you don't need a passport to go to Puerto Rico. Say no more. Let's go. Let's go now. So it's really hot and humid right now, probably. With mosquitoes the size of dinosaurs. Maybe he'll show you when they want to see the face again. No. <laughs> we don't want to see it. It's not my best face. It's like I'm sucking on lemons. Strongly disapprove of that relationship. She doesn't need to date. She doesn't. She doesn't need to get married. She can start dating when she's married. She said, "Susan, are you gonna have any classes in the Dominican Republic?" Probably not. We need vacation. Let's go there to relax. Family. Get massages. Eat carbs. Dance. Tropical things with little fruits and little umbrellas, umbrellas in inside them. of them. <laughs> she said, oh, well. <laughs> I've never been to Hawaii. Me either. We can also go. Let's go to Hawaii. I heard that's really expensive. Okay, you know what? Dwayne and Kabbalah haven't stopped there no more because he's in Colorado right now. With a, his new chick that looks like Beth. Well, that- Really? Where he lives is actually like 40 minutes from where he's And it's cheaper to live in Colorado, I think. Probably compared to Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to use our pink and pur- uh, pink, blue and purple butterflies. I think these are the cool tone and then this one as well too. So both of them are just super snatched. So let us begin the snatching of the phalanges. I mean, so you just need to protect the big brother or is there something suspicious about the boyfriend? No, I don't. Uh, she, sh- she just should not be dating. She should not be nothing. You should just happiness comes from oneself. Bye bye. But I'm allowed to have a husband. He's a hero. Support our troops. Yes. America. America. Look at that little butterfly you guys. She says, ooh, a class in Hawaii, we can write that class off. Now yes, ma'am. <laughs> Sign me up for that one. But uh I have not been to Hawaii yet, so that is a good excuse, a good reason to go. Snorkeling, Max. It'll be so much fun. We can take a helicopter ride and see like the whole island. 
Paul can tell the stories of the Chamorro people. Go hiking. We have like really pretty waterfalls. Well, I'm not gonna be outside. <laughs> I like to go hiking. Nows are so tiny. I'm trying to figure out what to put on here without overcrowding the phalanger. See, this has a reference again. No. Because I like them being different. They're different, but they're also in synergy with each other. Magnum PI helicopter ride. See, see, Sue is on that vibe with it. What's a Magnum PI helicopter ride? Like a private helicopter ride. Oh, that'd be fun. Yeah. I want to go, go swimming with dolphins. Do they do that in Hawaii? You can do that in Texas. Yeah, at um, SeaWorld. Probably. Where don't they have dolphins? So let's put another half butterfly one flying around here. Maybe this one. What are you guys gonna eat for dinner? What's for dinner? I have to go home and make dinner. Beef. So what's we're for dinner? Do shrimp Alfredo with a side salad. Ooh, fancy. Yes. I'm so excited. Is that the way of the Chamorro people? That is. Really? Dominic, my five-year-old, confirmed that my Fredo is better than his dad's. Really? <laughs> yeah. Was it like, Mommy, you make the best shrimp Alfredo? Yeah, he, I because whenever Paul makes it, like, he never finishes it, and he was one to always ask for seconds. Really? And, yeah, and so, like, I make it, and I'm like, Dominic, be honest, whose Fredo do you like better, Mommy's or Daddy's? It's yours. Aww. Um, he ain't lying, it's pretty good. Uh, wasn't Tom Selleck? You don't remember Magnum P.I. on TV? Oh my god, I'm old. It sounds familiar. It's 9.39 here. We had Laucos for dinner three hours ago. Oh, that also sounds really good. With some rice and beans. Glutes. We were just talking about her and now she's on your playlist. She was hearing us. <laughs> Who's Akon? Akon was in that one song with her. Wind it up? Yeah. No. Maybe. You become a has-been. How sad. Last I heard him, he was like in Africa doing something with like solar light. Really? Yeah, but he like after 2009, he just fell off the face of the planet. He's like a missionary. He's the one that sang that one song, Lonely, Mr. Lonely. Or that so beautiful. Yeah, Whatever happened to him with too? Kobe mm -hmm. That guy really disappeared too. I wonder, like, where did y'all go? Mike Posner, I really like him. He also like he was a songwriter, so he writes songs for a bunch of people, and he like stopped doing his own, which I don't get because he was really good making his own music. But that girl that writes songs for Kitty Perry, and she only had one song too. Oh. The one that sings uh, American Girl, I think her name was like Mackenzie or something. Mm -hmm. Not ringing bells. Really? Yeah, yeah, she's not really popular. Did you know that Megan Trainer was writing songs for people? Really? Like the All About the Bass Girl. Mm -hmm. She was writing songs for like J-Lo and all these, people, like, all these high celebrities. And then, and then that's how she started. And then, then they're like, oh, we think you should sing it. And then that's when All About That Bass. Really? Took off. And she so it was... She even said, like, I don't think that was, like, my best song. It was, like, a coincidence, yeah, it was, like, then. A hit. Mm -hmm. I didn't actually like that song, to be honest with you. No. I never liked it, no. What happened to Trina? Oops. What happened to Trina? Whatever happened to Baby Jane? <laughs> Maybe they're in retired, living their best life. Khalees? Keisha Cole wants to retire. That's what I heard. Isn't she a little young to be retiring? She has to focus on her kids. Really? Next time she should get the XXL in her hands. Looks delicate. They look good on her. Bummer she doesn't. Girl, you is crazy. You think I'm wearing XXL long nails? I would not be able to function. I would pull a max. Literally, I would be like, put it on and pop it right off. Just for the ground. Like, just for you guys, just to see. 
I wouldn't be able to do it. Very important to take the silicone tool and rub, 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 children. Make sure there is no. Jackie said they had crab cake for dinner because it's her 20th and wedding anniversary. Well, wow, happy anniversary. happy anniversary. That sounds delicious, my love. Crab cake? Yes. What is it? Crab cakes. Like little breaded things filled with crab? Mm hmm. What else is in there? Mm. Veggies? Depends. And they're pan seared, pan fried. Do you like crab or lobster? Both. Do you like calamari? Uh, yes. Do you like crawfish? Um, too much work for a little bit of meat. Paul loves him some crawfish. Really? We go to one big bag at the barbecue place over here in France. They have like a, like a crab shack. Your tomorrow proof. A little bit closer to me. Yeah. See, that's the great thing about our stickers too, is you can really like overlay them, like we just did right now, without worrying about any peeling or anything like that. Just make sure everything she is laid. That was the last one. Nice. We're going to do, always remember, you guys, two coats of shiny, okay? In and out, in and out. Quick, 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 quick. Get that money, honey. What do they call it, Benny the Jet? You can't say Speedy Gonzalez anymore. Why? Snowflakes. Wow. They took him out of, uh, I think, Space Jam too. Really? Mm-hmm. And Pepe Le Pew. I heard about Pepe Le Pew, but not Speedy. Not as Dr. Seuss. Mr. Taterhead. Okay, so I went to Target yesterday, mm -hmm. and, you know, my place to be. That is the spot. And I was walking down the aisle to get one of the toys, and I saw a Mr. Potato Head. Like, the box said Mr. Potato Head. Did you buy it? No. Why? But it was on clearance. It was a lot more. <gasps> you should have bought it. That's like a relic. We already have Mr. Potato Head, so the boys lost all the pieces. But you can save that one and just, like, have it as a collector's item. It literally looked like a vintage packaging, too. Really? Yeah. It's kind of cool because it's been around for a long time. I think like the OG Mr. Potato Head was also like a real potato. Like it was just the pieces that you would stick on a real potato. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mr. Tater Head. What if I made Tater Mister? Would that be okay? I technically actually could be legal. Tater Mister. <laughs> and, and Tater Miss. And tater Tot. <laughs> and the Tots. <laughs> So now we're going to add some frozen. You don't care the shiny? Nope. Because we want that frozen glitter to stick to the shiny. Somebody asked her, like, how come you don't put the sticker on top of stick on top of the sticky layer of gel? Let me answer that question, children. And that is because what happens when you put two pieces of double-sided stick tape together? Don't stick, right? Same theory. Why doesn't this one want to come out? Because you're trying to demonstrate. Ugh, only in a max video. It has like one piece of sequence that. Ugh! There we go. Giving me anxiety. Debbie says Mr. Potato Head still has the same name and it exists. They just changed the logo to Potato Head to include all potatoes. All. Well, well the OG is Mr. Potato Head. Because he's a man. With a raspy voice. Yeah, why don't they just make another one? And they're children of the three aliens. <laughs> they should just make another potato head. And that would be one more item they could sell us. Tater top potato head. The tater top potato head. The spud! I'm giving you three ideas here. Don't forget to... Royalty. Remember me. All potatoes matter. All taters matter. Idaho potatoes. What's the other one? What do they make green? The potatoes. Yukon. Yukon potatoes. Golden. Golden Yukon potatoes. The red potatoes. 
sweet potatoes. Sweet taters, purple taters. Look at that, children. Oh, so sickening. He still, he is still named Potato Head, and he still has the one of his boxes just changed all boxes, like Mr. and Alvin. No, it's just potato. Potato head to me sounds scary. Like a like a bad B list like murderer from like a horror movie like Snowman. Centipede. The cent the human centipede. That would be so gross. Your mother's watching. Hello. Hi Cynthia. mom. I will be home in a little bit. We are about finished. Frozen, she just dresses her up so beautifully. She's so pretty. She sparkles. Today was a really fast day. I feel like it went really fast. Yeah, for sure. Very busy with all the stuff going on here at Inokatour.com, the bomb.com. There we go, beautiful. Now we're gonna bake her for one minute. Gosh, everybody got really quiet. Actually, 30 seconds, sorry, because it's two layers of shiny. Did you play with the Mr. Potato Head when you were a kid? Really? I did not actually. I never played with Mr. Potato Head. Honestly, like I played with it like here and there, like at school or something. But I played more with it once I had kids of my own. Really? No, I was like, oh, how do you do this? Let us know the toys you guys played with as a kid. I played mostly with Power Ranger toys. I loved, well, still do. Barbies on the grass. Really? And I rode quads. Wow. So you were kind of like a little bit of a tomboy? Oh, that's right. My dad, like, let me do whatever he did, pretty much. Huh. But, like, more strict. So now we're going to do our second coat of shiny. Always remember, you guys, when you do stickers, two coats of shiny is essential. Thanks, Deb. They are very pretty. We love them. I played a lot with Pokemon cards, too. Man, that was an expensive habit. Where were your cards? I don't know. Somewhere at my house? Somewhere? But now they're worth mad money, though. They are. Do you remember when Burger King would get the golden Pokeball? No. It was like a gold plate, and it was like Jigglypuff. I had like so many Jigglypuffs. Really? Yeah, back in the day, they used to get the best ones. Burger King, McDonald's. Oh, yeah, I remember those. They give you like video game demos at Pizza Hut. Really? Yeah, I got like Spyro and Laura Croft Tomb Raider. For my PlayStation 1. Yes, I remember the PlayStation 1. <laughs> Those were the days. Game Boy Color. GameCube, do you remember GameCube? Yes, of course. You Dreamcast, Sega Dreamcast. I had a Sega Dreamcast. Sonic was my favorite. Power Stone. Dreamcast Street had really Fighter. good games. Street Fighter. What else? I had a Pocahontas game on my Sega. Really? <laughs> yeah. To make sure all those edges are sealed, you guys. Lizzie McGuire like games for McDonald's. Really? For like actual games like, games? It was for computer. Little, they had three different ones. They had like a blue one, a purple one, a blue one, a pink one, and a yellow one. Wow. Oh, the Lion King game on Sega. I had that one too. I don't think I ever played that one. I did play the Mulan game on the computer. It was fun. I liked it because there was one where you could dress her up and I was like, I was obsessed with that. I played the Tarzan one. Really? When Disney Channel had like the cool games on their website. Mm -hmm. That's play like the scene where they're destroying the camp. Let's bake this for one minute. Motorized pony toy, little dog, air toys, cap gun. Cap guns, little toy soldiers, dolls and stuff. Wow, 
Oh, do you guys remember Furby? Yes. I had a Furby too, and I never really played with it. I never knew how to use it. Or those Robo Dogs. Remember those? Oh yeah. Oh, and they like, yeah, like you were supposed to like feed the dog and things like that. Do you remember Tamagotchi? Yes, I had some Tamagotchi. What was the other one too? There was like knockoff versions of it too. Mm -hmm. Like I had a little panda one too. Mm -hmm. God. I had one that looked like, um, what was that girl? In, in Pokemon, Misty's Pokemon. Mm -hmm. Oh, like Squirtle! No, it was like a little egg. Her Pokemon yeah. was a Squirtle, wasn't it? Misty? Wasn't she like the water Pokemon trainer? Oh my gosh. I feel really old about all of that stuff for my dog. <laughs> but yeah, look like that. It's like a little chicken and egg. Look at that, children. Beautiful. Her nails are encapsulated and they're not going anywhere. See? Who says short little baby woman nails could not be snatched? Okay, and these is. Her real natural nail with, of course, pink press on gel, the bottom chick. So we're going to add cotton candy cuticle oil. Keep her nice and hydrated. Was it called egg? I think the Pokemon was called egg. Really? Yeah. Togepi! There you go. Togepi! There you go, Togepi. Someone said, oh, Sue said when the Furby would wake you up, it would wake up at night, it would scare the heck out of you. <laughs> I can imagine. And I remember they had like all kinds of like Furby accessories and things like that too. And they were supposed to like be able to talk to each other too. Or baby alive. Those were scary too. Stunning. Let's see both of them, Ignacio. Do you guys love it? A little bit closer. There we go. Wow, look at that. Serving you the fantasy. Let's get some hard light up in here. Yes. Beautiful. Well, you guys, that's going to wrap it up for today's live little demo. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I just wanted to share with you guys another way of using the famous pink press-on gel and how to snatch up short little...